Hello guys, welcome back. Today we need to speak about Istanbul, the capital of Turkey, this uh, incredible huge city of 15 million of inhabitants, which is visited by millions of uh, tourists every single year. The city is full of uh, mosques, uh, ancient ruins, uh, incredible markets and bazaars, restaurants, but also scams. A lot of them. I have been to many countries uh, very well known uh, for their uh, high level of uh, scams uh, such as uh, Egypt, uh, Jordan or Morocco. However, Istanbul was absolutely the next level. If you watched my previous video, you know that I have been to uh, Istanbul and I really believe that uh, it's one of the most fascinating uh, cities uh, on earth and I'm pretty sure that the vast majority of people living there are friendly and helpful towards the tourists. However, I must say that I have been there four different times, uh, both for work and for uh, leisure, and every single time I faced uh, some sort of scam. I hate what I'm going to say, but actually, most likely, I won't be returning uh, to this city anytime soon. So in this video, I wanna share the five different scams uh, I faced uh, in Istanbul, from the least uh, to the most uh, dangerous one, uh, in terms of uh, your financial loss and also I'm gonna share some uh, tips and tricks uh, on how to avoid them. Let's dive in. The shoe shine scam. So this happened to me twice uh, while I was walking on the Galata Bridge which is one of the most uh, touristic uh, bridges uh, in the whole city. So while you are walking uh, there is a man in front of you uh, who drops uh, one of his uh, cleaning uh, brushes. You shout after him and he turns, shakes his head uh, as if to say, oh silly me, and comes back to pick uh, his brush. So in that moment you are thinking you are doing uh, an old man uh, a favor and that he will uh, thank you afterwards. He then thanks you and says that uh, he wants to clean your shoes. You assume uh, he's doing it uh, as a thank you, but he's not. He's about to charge for it and once your shoes are clean, uh, there's nothing uh, you can do uh, other than uh, uh, pay him. To be honest, uh, this is the least dangerous scam because actually you are gonna uh, pay just like few uh, dollars. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's something that you must uh, bear in mind. The taxi scams, uh, of course, uh, very common uh, in every part of the world, but actually I faced this in Istanbul uh, more than once. So there are two different scams uh, within this uh, category. So the first one is the alternative route. So if you are in uh, either taxi or Besiktas uh, and you're heading back to uh, Sultanahmet, you will need to cross the Galata Bridge. And very often, some uh, taxi drivers will, uh, will tell you that the Galata Bridge uh, is actually closed that day, and then uh, you must take an alternative, of course, much longer and more expensive uh, route uh, to get uh, where you need to go. While uh, the Galata Bridge uh, might be closed, in practice this is very rare, because it's one of the most uh, important uh, and uh, congested bridge uh, in uh, Istanbul. So if uh, for any reason the bridge is closed, uh, it's gonna be a big news. That's why whenever you are traveling from a point A to a point B, always ask your uh, hotel or the waiter of your restaurant uh, uh, how much normally should you pay for that uh, journey and then when you get a taxi uh, tell it to the taxi driver that, that actually you are willing to pay that uh, price so the taxi driver will perfectly know that you have done your research uh, and most likely <laughs> they won't be scam you. The second taxi scam uh, is the Turkish Lira note uh, switch so for argument's sake uh, let's assume your uh, taxi fare is uh, 15 uh, Turkish Lira so you hand the taxi driver a 50 Turkish Lira note. Out of sight, he switched the note with a 5 Turkish Lira note he has ready, show it to you and waits for you to hand him the remaining 10 Turkish Lira. So while you are expected to get change, you are confused because you don't know very well the currency, the notes, and eventually you end up paying 60 Turkish Lira for a 15 Turkish Lira journey. It happened to me twice. Uh, by the way, take only official taxi. Once I was in uh, uh, Sultanahmet, one of the most uh, busiest areas of Istanbul, I was in a rush because I had to head uh, to the airport uh, as soon as possible. But actually at that time there were no official uh, yellow taxi available on that square. So I was uh, a bit lost uh, looking around. A guy approached me and uh, yeah, he wanted to offer me a ride uh, to the airport. The issue is that uh, 
uh, he wanted me to pay uh, with my debit or credit card up front before even uh, having the ride. I refused because I realized that uh, he was a scammer and then uh, he went away. This scam could have cost me around $50 and most likely uh, this guy would have left me uh, somewhere uh, in one of the busiest roads of uh, Istanbul. So how to avoid this scam? Only take uh, official taxi in Istanbul. Official taxis are yellow and they also have a taxi sign on the roof. The tip I have for you here is just uh, have ready a very small amount of cash so you don't need to, um, to get any change from the taxi driver. And also on a separate note, uh, uh, tipping a taxi driver in uh, Turkey is not a custom unless uh, he's helping you with your luggages. The restaurants come, so probably you are enjoying uh, an amazing Turkish uh, meal uh, overlooking Hagia Sophia or the Blue Mosque. So in that moment, uh, you are thinking that Istanbul uh, is the most incredible uh, city in the world and you are getting a very warm uh, welcome uh, from locals until the bill arrives. So for example, the bill is uh, 150 uh, Turkish Lira. You gave them uh, 200, so you are expecting a change of uh, 50, but actually you might wait uh, uh, for a while because either the waiter doesn't come back at all or they come back saying that uh, you gave them 150 lias, whereas you gave them 200. So once again, this is very similar to the taxi scam. They are like playing with a change. This happened to me a couple of times, but always uh, in uh, very um, touristic uh, areas of Istanbul, uh, such as uh, Taksim or Sultanahmet. Another very common scam that happened to me several times in Istanbul uh, is that they uh, often charge you something that you never ordered. If anything comes to your table that you didn't individually order, either ask about it or don't eat it. Overall, maize usually is free, but not in every single restaurant, especially water. So sometimes they just put the bottle uh, uh, on your table. So you expect this to be free, especially from, uh, for me, because I live in London and normally the tap water they put on the table uh, is free of charge, but actually in Istanbul it's not. So you pay for everything they put on the table. So be in mind at the end, always ask about uh, whether that item is free or not. The next one is the ticket machine scam. This scam as well happened in Sultanahmet. God knows how much I hate this area. By the way, uh, I was standing in front of the ticket machine uh, because I was a bit confused about uh, which ticket uh, to buy. And all of a sudden, uh, a man uh, approached me and was uh, keen to help me. So I thought in my mind, uh, wow, what a nice, uh, helpful uh, stranger we got here. Well, I was completely wrong. I just had to buy a one-way ticket to the airport. And since this guy didn't understand uh, any English, I just showed him uh, on the map my final destination. So I just inserted my debit card within the vending machine and I let him uh, purchase the ticket on my behalf because actually the ticket machine only had uh, the Turkish language uh, displayed there. So with my big surprise, Instead of buying a one-way ticket to the airport, this uh, funny guy bought uh, six or seven uh, uh, tickets for other destinations, but I had already paid. Um, so actually, at least, uh, as soon as I realized the scam, I tried to collect uh, these tickets from uh, his hands, and all of a sudden, he ran away. He ran away and I lost him uh, among the crowd of, of the station. And I was like, what just happened, <laughs> really? And. Uh, so actually, instead of uh, paying uh, uh, two or three dollars for a one-way ticket to the airport, I ended up paying uh, around ten dollars. That's a scam, guys. Uh, so the tip here is uh, don't let anyone uh, approaching you while you are like, buying uh, something by tickets at the train stations, especially in Sultanahmet, one of the most uh, touristic but also risky areas of Istanbul because 99% of the times uh, these guys will be scammers. And ladies and gentlemen, we finally reached uh, the top of this uh, infamous uh, chart. The very first, the number one uh, scam in Istanbul, by far the most uh, dangerous one, especially if you're traveling solo, is the nightclub scam. This scam happened to me during my first uh, trip to Istanbul. I was there uh, solo. So I was walking uh, uh, on one of the most uh, uh, famous pedestrian areas of Istanbul, uh, which is uh, Taksim Square. It was uh, quite dark around uh, 8 p.m. I was looking for uh, 
a restaurant and the area was completely uh, crowded so I felt quite safe. All of a sudden a guy approached me and started speaking to me in uh, Italian which uh, uh, I was very very surprised of because actually yeah, I was there solo I was not speaking with uh, with anyone and, and I was not even like dressed as a typical Italian guy maybe with a white shirt uh, or with sunglasses on or maybe doing some uh, gestures I don't know so he started saying that uh, well are you looking for uh, a place to drink or to eat uh, what are you doing here in Istanbul I said that uh, I was uh, starving I was actually looking for a place uh, to either drink or eat and he told me that uh, a new very fancy bar uh, just opened a few days this earlier and uh, he was keen to show me around and offer me some drinks uh, in that bar I said no like few times but he was insisting for almost five minutes so at the end I gave up and I said well okay I'm gonna I'm gonna follow you well we ended up uh, in one of the uh, small alleys uh, um, around uh, Taksim Square he, the area was quite dodgy but at that time I thought that uh, well I mean this guy was very well dressed uh, he seemed to be fine very very friendly very uh, you know very chill out so I said yeah and also once again the area was full of people so I felt uh, quite safe so I follow him uh, in this bar so we, we went upstairs and the bar was uh, surprisingly uh, empty and that was the first red flag at first I thought that uh, well since the bar is quite new maybe uh, it's not very well known so and also it was quite early uh, in the evening around uh, 8 p.m. so and I thought well maybe bars here get crowded later uh, in the night so I sat down and uh, as soon as I sat down at this table two standing ladies with, with miniskirt and high heels uh, appear from nowhere and they sat at the same table uh, with me they were very very friendly asking me uh, what's your name uh, where are you from uh, all these basic questions and then they started saying okay let's celebrate it's your first day here in Istanbul uh, so you need to celebrate let's order some uh, some wine some champagne some cocktails and so on that was the second red flag so in that moment uh, I start realizing that I was a victim uh, of a scam with an excuse uh, I went downstairs uh, where the toilet uh, was located and I ran away and I ran away <laughs> and I came back to uh, Taksim Square which was uh, only like uh, two or three hundred meters away and uh, really I saved uh, thousands of pounds of course the scam is that uh, you will be brought to one of these uh, uh, bars and uh, either girls or other men will uh, will uh, join you they will start uh, ordering drinks and drinks and drinks without a proper menu when it comes the time for you to leave you will be stuck with an astronomical bill all your friends uh, will be vanished and you find yourself in a very uncomfortable and possibly dangerous situation unless you pay if you try to escape of course uh, bodyguard uh, at the entrance uh, will stop you and will force you to withdraw money and pay an incredibly expensive bill unfortunately I keep reading about this scam uh, either uh, now so be careful and don't follow anyone who will be approaching you uh, in the street uh, uh, advising that a new bar or a new place just opened never follow anyone I still love Istanbul even if uh, I found it quite challenging and overwhelming because of these issues anyway guys I want to highlight the fact that this is just my personal experience after uh, having been there uh, for several times so if you had there you might have a complete different uh, perception guys thank you very much for watching if you faced any of these issues in Istanbul please let me know in the comment section I'm very curious to hear your thoughts and see you in the next video ciao